What is going on guys? Ultimate Deadpool here and I'm back with another uh, pretty much toy review today. Uh, so we got um, Ash Williams from the uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show. We got Chucky. Uh, the Demon uh, from uh, Wes Craven's New Nightmare, aka Freddy Krueger from Part 7. Punisher, uh, War Machine, uh, X-Men, Deadpool, and Nightwing. So, um, and also here's a nice shot of the nerd wall. So, uh, we'll get to each, uh, segment here in a little bit. Uh, make sure you guys watch this video to the end because all of the, uh, previous horror movie characters are lined up in a hilarious fashion. So, uh, if you guys want, I will show you guys that. You know what? I'll just go ahead and do that. So, we'll cut back in just a second. All right, so first off, you got Roy Burns laying on the ground with Jason, Z zombie edition, pointing his spear at his face. And I think that's kind of funny because if Roy Burns actually did survive the end of part five, um, and like Jason came back, <laughs> he'd probably be like, hey, bro, you're copying me, cut it out. And then like stab him with the spear or something like that. Over here, you got Michael Myers with a hammer. And I actually put silver dots on there to show that he's, like, hammering in nails. Um, over here, you got uh, Friday the 13th Part 5's uh, flashback Jason with the worm eyes. And then you have his tombstone with Michael Myers standing there. And he's doing his classic head tilt, but you can't really tell at this angle. And I can't move my phone. <laughs> um, but... Um, I've noticed that Michael Myers has never actually died in any of the Halloween movies except for Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, but I don't count that because I didn't like that movie. So, it's like, dude, seriously, you're dead? And then, like, it's kind of as a joke because to show that, you know, Michael Myers has never actually died, but Jason Voorhees has died. So it's kind of a fun little twist. And then... Pennywise is an alien, so alien versus predator, ha ha ha, very funny. Back here you have the first reincarnation of Freddy Krueger, and the uh, part three's Jason, um, as like a, you know, uh, first time Freddy versus Jason, and then you have actual part three's Freddy Krueger versus uh, Freddy versus Jason's Jason, so it's still technically Freddy versus Jason, and then you have you know, Optimus Prime and Megatron. Um, the blast bullet coming out of Optimus's gun is actually the Predators. Um, and then you got the um, Creo Bumblebee, the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, and then Lord Business. And then up there you got Captain America's shield and a proton pack. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the new characters. All right, so first off, we have Chucky, the killer doll. So here's the figure. So I put him in his uh, Child's Play 1 um, head. Uh, and he has the regular good guy doll face. Uh, Child's Play 3's um, slashed face. And then you have the stitched up face from... Um, uh, shit. Um, it's not Cult of Chucky, it's the... Um, um, Curse of Chucky, so, and, uh, you got the good guy hammer, um, I think that's a good guy sword, for some reason it's got the good guy ruler, which, uh, or measuring stick, or meter stick, which, um, is not really in the actual good guy's, um, toy kit, it's actually part of the, uh, teacher kill from Child's Play 2, he has three different hands, Technically four if you count the knife arm um, and then the knife from uh, Child's Play 2 as well as the baseball bat, a gun, it's two different, uh, a knife and a sword. But right now he's just holding uh, Charles Lee Ray's uh, custom knife. Uh, and then he also, <laughs> this is funny, he comes with an actual good guy box, which I think is funny. Uh, if you wanted to put Chucky in the good guy box, um... Oh, 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 and he also has the uh, 
the razor from, uh, or the sh sh face shaver from part three. So, uh, all in all, really good detail as all these things do. I love the uh, Too Faced Chucky look. It's definitely very gross and very gruesome. And then the stitched up Chucky face isn't bad either. And then the good guy face is, well, it's a good guy face. So here's all of his accessories up close. I'm not going to bother removing it. Again, great look of the box. Uh, it actually is supposed to look like the good guy box. So I think that's kind of funny. And there's the... Uh, the back of it so on to the next character all right next up we got ash from ash versus evil dead um i still have not actually watched the tv show um i know i need to start doing that um so yes the first accessory he's got a picture of the car uh which is a 1973 oldsmobile uh or a delta 88 for short he's got an extended arm piece which I don't know if that's actually for. And he's got the uh, Hero Chainsaw piece. I believe that's what it's called. The wooden hand and then the robot hand. And then he has uh, three different heads. Um, so I actually did already switch his head out. Um, but because originally it was this head that was on it. Um, but I like the more aggressive, mean looking face better. Uh, he does come with his boomstick. So, and it fits really nicely in his hand. Again, really good uh, sculpting work uh, by whoever designed this thing because this looks exactly like Bruce Campbell. Um, and then the chainsaw looks really cool as well. So there's actually a second Ash coming in the mail. Um, and that it's the uh, Ash from the second Evil Dead movie, which is my personal favorite. And he's got the gun holster on the back. And the gun actually does fit in his back uh, his back sleeve. Um, I was a little worried that it was just going to slide out, but it honestly holds up pretty well. So, again, whoever made these things does a great job. Uh, they are really, really detailed uh, for what they are and for as small as they are. And uh, overall, they have really good quality. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this one has the 3d um cover but for some reason it does so i think that's a little odd but maybe there's something that's 3d in ash versus evil dead so i'll probably end up i'll probably watch that show at some point because here in a couple of weeks i'm not going to upload any videos because i am going on vacation to california so Yay, that's going to be fun. I get to be stuck in a car for four days. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on. On to our next character. <clears throat> Alright, next up we got the Freddy Krueger Demon from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 7, a.k.a. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And this is supposed to be like if uh, Freddy Krueger was like in the movie world and he like wanted to come over to ours it's it's a really weird wacky story he only comes with one accessory it's his head or the uh demon head which is that right there <coughs> and again great detail work that looks so freaking cool so i actually had to touch up his eye uh with paint because one eye was looking straight, the other eye was looking in a completely different direction, and it drove me crazy. Um, so that's that's about the only downside of it. I think of this this looks a little bit better. Uh, his other eye just looks a little weird because I had to fix it, but um, other than that, it's not bad. I love the trench coat look. That's so cool. Um, again, great detail work on his hands, especially the glove hand you know this actually isn't a glove it's supposed to be like a robotic type thing still looks really cool so these are actually kind of sharp too so they definitely they'll definitely hurt if you fall on them uh, he has a the classic black fedora uh, even though it's a little bit more green uh, than what it was in the actual movie because uh, in the movie it was like a bright b greenish black but 
this isn't bad. So again, the only thing I would probably complain about this character is his eye was just so badly done. Um, but I fix it, and it's, you know, not really that noticeable, especially from far away. Uh, but overall, it's not so bad. So on to the uh, DC and Marvel characters. Because Freddy was the last. I realize it's not actually Freddy Krueger, but for my own personal sake, I'm just going to call him Freddy. Even though I know it's not actually Freddy. So, on to the uh, next character. Alright, so next up is Nightwing uh, from DC's Multiverse um, uh, Collector Series. I believe that's what it is. Um, I got this at GameStop. So, this guy can, you know, do all kinds of crazy poses. You know, his midsection moves, his chest can turn. Um, even his, his uh, shoulder cavities can, can be... Uh, twisted and turned as well as his actual shoulders forearms I think this has like 21 movable parts or something like that uh, real great detail again um, as most of these adult collector edition stuff is uh, he's got the holsters on his back for the uh, his nightsticks and then he's got some basic leg leg spots with more awesome articulation. I'm not going to move anything because I like the pose that he's in. <clears throat> and I don't want to mess it up even though I pretty much already did. But um, this guy is pretty cool. Uh, fun fact, Nightwing is actually one of my favorite DC characters. If not my favorite DC character. Next to Beast Boy. Beast Boy is pretty cool. And he's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, Nightwing is pretty cool. Um, so he's now a nerd wall collectible type thing. Um, I have <laughs> things to say with this. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to our next character. Alright, next up is um, War Machine Punisher Edition. I believe it was from a video game. I could be wrong. Um, but I think this design actually came out of a video game. Um, it's just uh, War Machine from Captain America Civil War. Um, if it was Punisher. Uh, really great design overall. I love the skull look. And I like the the faded on the metal here. On his shoulder. And on his knee. And also on his, on his feet. As well, I do like that faded, you know, used look. And then if you look over here, he's got uh, skulls. I guess to show that how many people he's killed on his leg. And his chest plate. He's got the the arm, uh, shoulder cannon. Really good head movement. The whole thing is pretty solid. He comes with two different uh, hands. Um, the one thing that War Machine t briefly used in Civil War. Um, as well as I'm guessing guns or something that go on the bottoms here. But I couldn't figure out how to make those work. So I do like just the standard stock figure like this. So this is honestly pretty cool. Um, so I believe this is actually a Marvel's Legends edition, which makes this my first Marvel's actual, actual Marvel's Legends item. So on to our uh, last character. Again, really great detail on all of these things. I can't stress that enough. The only thing I would say on this is they missed the arc reactor. The arc reactor is supposed to be blue, but uh, you know what? For what this is, I can overlook that. <laughs> Still a really cool design and a really cool character. Even though I'm pretty sure that this was made specifically because of a video game. I could be wrong though. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know down in the comments. And our last one is Marvel's Legends X-Men's Deadpool. Um, I believe they just called him Deadpool on the box. But it clearly says X-Men on it. So I'm just going to call him X-Men Deadpool. Uh, he's got some great articulation again, you know, with the shoulders, shoulder mounts being able to move, the actual shoulders themselves being able to move. So, really nice working functions. So, because the whole, like, shoulder cavity is what moves, as well as the actual shoulder itself. So, that's pretty cool. Very well articulated. <coughs> The swords aren't entirely straight, 
but they weren't straight to begin with and <laughs> he's probably just going to be holding this gun uh, when he's on my display case or display thing um, really great design um, I think this is one of the better looks for Deadpool um, I think I actually made a minifigure of this guy not uh, a while back but uh, I'll have to look for it at some point but uh, really great design really great figure and another Marvel's Legends so these these two are actual Marvel Legends they're not the not cheap knockoffs <laughs> like the shield and the gauntlet are but um all in all i would give um chucky which is an easy you know 9.5 because of the uh, detail the only thing i don't like about it is it's not really entire the box and the character aren't entirely to scale um uh, with the other characters um which is fine and again overlookable um Ash Williams, I give, I haven't really seen uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead, so I can't really rate him, but as, as far as detail goes, he's going to get a 10 out of 10. Uh, Wes Craven's Demon Freddy, um, I give him, you know, 10 out of 10 on detail, um, with the exception of that uh, left eye, um, <clears throat> Nightwing, um, really great design, really great look. Uh, 10 for 10 on detail um, and 10 for 10 on articulation um, even though some of the joints are a little stiff but that's my only complaint uh, War Machine Punisher um, again 10 out of 10 on detail uh, but I give it about a 9.5 on articulation because you can again they're still kind of stiff joints and they're not going to be moved a whole lot so because I'm definitely not using probably any of this stuff for stop motion videos if i do it's going to be once because i can't animate with action figures because it's a pain in the ass for me at least and most likely it would just be you know these characters the horror movie characters fighting each other or something like that so i might do something like that in the future but not right now um and then same thing with deadpool you know 10 out of 10 on design um as of weaponry <laughs> his uh his gun's a little bent and i tried straightening it same thing with the swords i tried straightening those but it does no good um articulation 10 out of 10 because uh you can definitely put deadpool in all kinds of crazy poses um but for now he's just going to be holding a gun so uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys again probably tomorrow for another uh neca uh, character review so till then um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys all next time on ultimate deadpool peace out you guys are awesome i'll see you guys all later bye